Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. I pray that you are all in the best of health and Iman. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nafisa. I make Islam and lifestyle videos. So if you're interested in that kind of content, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and join our family. Now I am super excited guys today to be sharing with you guys how I am preparing for Ramadan. If you've been watching my videos since last year when I began this channel, you will already know that Ramadan is my favourite time of the year and I always get excited whenever like Ramadan is coming because it's just like, ah, oh, everyone is just trying their best to be on Dean and to be on point and it's just such good vibes. So I can't wait for Ramadan to start. But anyways, so inshallah today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the different ways that I'm preparing for Ramadan and that I have been preparing for Ramadan. I'm not 100% ready yet, but I think what I have to share with you guys inshallah should help you get, you know, a little bit of a head start as well on the Ramadan preparation. I think that there are some things in here that you guys will really find beneficial. So I hope you watch the video till the end. Without further ado, let's begin today's video. So bringing you guys onto my desk here, this is one of the many notebooks that I own. Um, so yes, the first thing that I did do with regards to preparing for this year's Ramadan was to review last year's Ramadan. So I have here things that I felt went quite well for me and things that I felt didn't go so well and that I could build on. And I found that doing this really helped me to develop um, my goals and target for this year's Ramadan. So over here I have written all of my lists. Well, it's not quite all of it. I think I could add more there, but you know, Allah alam, I've tried. Um, but one of the things that I did do last year that I was really proud of myself that I didn't do the previous year was that I ate more healthily and that is really a target for me also this year. I've achieved my weight loss goal. I'm not trying to lose weight this Ramadan. I'm trying to maintain my weight. However, I am still trying to maintain a healthier living lifestyle. So alhamdulillah I was able to achieve that and I performed more tarawees in the masjid than I did in the previous year so alhamdulillah here are just some of the things that I felt went well now moving on to some of the things that I felt didn't go so well for me one of the those were that I didn't have enough structure in my planning in terms of when I was going to input my ibadah into place because I'm I'm a workaholic guys I work a lot and also having a YouTube channel and family and friends managing my time with Allah it's just a lot so I think you know this year inshallah that's something that I would like to do more of and the second thing I have here is distractions. I had a lot of distractions last year and I'm going to try my best inshallah this year to just focus on my relationship with Allah rather than with other people and things like that. The third thing here was difficulty with my sleep schedule, especially in the last 10 days. I found that really challenging last year and something that I really struggled with. Um, just having enough sleep and getting enough sleep because naturally I'm sort of like an early to bed and an early to rise type of person so going to bed so late and also having to wake up so early that kind of messed up with me and I didn't put enough time to get sleep last year so that's something that inshallah I'll definitely want to work on for this year and again I've got there too much worldly focus and I know what that means for me so these are some of the things that I felt didn't go so well for me last year that I would like to build upon this year so following on to that where are we here is my 2018 ramadan goal inshallah have the list is never ending guys so let's go through this really really quickly as i've said before i would like to perform more mas um, tarawees in the masjid and i've said at least four rakas because i have a masjid really nearby me so there's really no excuse for me not to be performing tarawees so Every single day that I'm praying for, I have to attend the masjid and pray tarawees, even if I'm only um, able to perform four rakats with the jama'ah. The next one is to meal plan and um, meal prep some of the foods. The next target is timetabled ibadah and sources saved on my phone. Then I have more time at home alone with, as much as possible because that is when I'll be able to do my private you know, acts of worship. That's just between me and Allah. So the more time I can have at home alone, the more time I can have to focus on that. Um, then I have the last 10 days sleep timetable as I've spoken of before. Then I have to complete the Quran in 18 days. Now this guys is one of my biggest challenges this year, like trying to complete the Quran in 18 days. 
um, and I'll explain in a bit why it is 18 days then I've got to spend more time with my family inshallah those who haven't heard from me for a long time you will be hearing from me <laughs> this year inshallah then I've got um, to keep up my healthy eating of course I've said that before and the next one is to have a 2018 dua list now I already had my dua list from 2017 I've crossed some things off of there so I'm just going to add a few more to create my 2018 dua list and then finally I've got to have extra ibadah um, list ready so I can just pick you know because again I'm really busy so the the more organization I have into place for me the, the easier it's gonna be for me inshallah okay so that is um, my 2018 goal inshallah I've got their possibility of missing the 27th 29th and Eid Salah we will discuss that next but here we are 2018 Ramadan goal inshallah So moving on from that, here is my to-do list, which I have already started accomplishing some of. Now, the first one is to bulk food shop. And I've already started doing that. I've been to the shops and trying to get some foods and things like that. I've been to Costco, I've been to Poundland, I've been to the market. I've just been going around and picking up some of the items that I know that I'm going to be needing for Ramadan in terms of food shopping. So the only thing really left for me to worry about is my fruits and vegetables. And inshallah, I will get them probably let's say the weekend before Ramadan begins inshallah so the next thing that I've got to do here is to give my house a good deep clean um, I have no energy in Ramadan to be doing any sort of deep cleaning so inshallah I'm gonna try and get stuff like washing my curtains cleaning under the bed all of that sort of major cleaning stuff get those done before Ramadan begins so that during Ramadan I will just be doing what I call maintenance cleaning so if you've got some spring cleaning to do Get that done inshallah should make life easier for you during the month of ramadan then over here i've got to create a 2018 youtube playlist now if i can show you guys here on my phone so as you can all see here i've already made a playlist called ramadan 2018 and this is on my private youtube account but if you guys would like to have access to this playlist then let me know um inshallah i will put it into my um nafisa's pearls um youtube channel so i've already got about 34 videos in there so far and um it's just a whole load of islamic reminders and islamic lectures and even spoken word poetry i've even got a cartoon in there about the life of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him that i really want to watch that one over there um muhammad the last prophet so i look forward to watching that and a good old sheikh um ahmadida may allah bless that man he's just he's a legend but yeah, so loads of Islamic lectures already in there. So inshallah, I shall be adding more to this. So that is my 2018 playlist there ready for me to go. After that, I need to check my menstruation likely dates. Now, I have to make sure that I do this because it really helps me to sort of gauge what's going to be happening with me around Ramadan. So again, I use this app called P-Tracker, this one over there with the flower and to be honest i've been using the free version of this app and it's been working really well for me it guess guesses your menstrual cycle dates and sort of tells you when you're fertile and things like that so if you're trying to have a child this might be something you might be interested in but i'm not i just use it to try my um i mean to track my menstruation so having a look over here let's go to may so Ramadan is likely to start on the 15th or the 14th or the 16th, whichever one of those days, right? And I'm likely to start menstruating around that time. So as you can see, again, like I said, this app is usually spot on, maybe like a day or two off, but it's usually spot on. So it looks like I'm going to be missing the first few days of Ramadan right there. And to add to it, check out what's happening in June yep so Eid is likely to probably be maybe on the 14th on the 13th or the 15th and it looks like I'm going to also have another menstruation at the end of Ramadan and most likely I probably will be missing um, Eid if Eid falls on one of these days I'm um, over here when I said to you guys there's a likelihood of me missing the 27th 29th and Eid Salah 
that's why so we will see of course it's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that knows the future so Allah alam um, but it looks like that is likely to be the case then I carried on adding to my list and I've got to complete my dua list I haven't done that yet I haven't updated last year's one so that's something I still need to do and also the extra ibadah list as well so so moving on to the structure that I have for my weekly Ibadah time slots. Um, this is usually stuff that I, I already do anyways, but um, just having it written down means that I know that, you know, I have time slotted in for certain acts of worship, um, with the exception of a few that I have here. So I've got my journey to work will be for me to listen to the Quran and pardon my handwriting, guys, it, just, just excuse it. Um, and then my journey... Um, from work back home would be for me to listen to Islamic lectures and all those videos that I had saved on my phone. Then my lunch times, we have a quiet room at school. So during the lunch hour, I'm going to um, spend that time reading the Quran in the quiet room. So I'm going to bring my mini Quran with me. Let me show you guys. Check it out, guys. It's this miniature pocket sized Quran is super cute. If I find a link to it in Amazon, I will leave it linked down below. But yes, this will be one that I carry to put in my purse with me and take with me to work so yes that is going to be most of my lunch time then an hour before iftar will be for me to go through my dua list and make sure that i've made all the duas there before breaking my fast so so far that is my weekly ibadah time slots and what i'm going to be doing when um this might sound like really structured and of course things might not always have happen according to plan and all of that but for the most part I'm going to try and stick to this. Oh, and also I forgot to say to you guys that inshallah, I have downloaded a Ramadan checklist from mydean.com. So if you're looking for a Ramadan checklist to help you with your planning, you can download one from there, it's free. Um, if I find the link, I will leave it in the description box down below. So I will be printing that off and sort of using that to help me check off all the things that I'm doing to make sure that I'm keeping up with my plan. So yeah. So that guys is how I am preparing for Ramadan this year. I hope that it has been somewhat useful to you and inshallah you will take a few tips from there and help yourselves in terms of preparing for your Ramadan this year. Um, before I go, I'd just like to say that please mothers especially, I would like for you to leave comments in the comment section down below to say how you are preparing for Ramadan because I have a friend and she is a new mom and she was just saying to me that it's going to be really tricky this year she's gonna have to be super organized um, being that she is a first time mom and this is her first Ramadan so I just thought it would be useful if other moms left comments down below so that new moms can benefit in terms of how to prepare for Ramadan being that you have a young baby with you. So yes, please leave that, that um, message down for all of us to benefit. Also, make sure to check out my Ramadan preparation video that I made last year. That video has some really useful tips. It's very different to this year's Ramadan preparation video. So if you haven't seen that already, I will make sure to leave it linked in the description box down below. So check out that video after this one. Jazakallah hey guys for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.